autumn things. Autumn themed stuff. Look who's joining us today. It's moles. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gita Marie and today we have a special guest. The long-term subscriber will remember what a queen she is. I'm dog sitting for a week and it's glorious. It's gonna be consistent comic relief to see her in the background constantly throughout this video. She's just looking at me. Today I wanna to do another anti-haul. It's been a hot second and we're gonna get back into it. So I thought what better opportunity than the switching seasons. We have several holidays coming up as well. It's prime time for another anti-haul so let's just get into it. The anti-haul is just the opposite of a haul. So instead of showing everything that I'm getting or everything I have gotten for a specific season, for a specific event, for a specific occasion, I'm talking about all the things I'm not going to buy. I think we need more conversations surrounding what things we are actively avoiding and actively not buying. Okay these are must-haves, I'm not getting this autumn. And we're starting off strong with Halloween costumes just across the board. No, specifically new Halloween costumes. Every single year there are tons of new, on-trend, very current, modern references to things that you can buy as a costume and wear for Halloween party. The thing is just costumes, often cheaply made costumes, which is the majority of costumes, are ultra, 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 ultra fast fashion. It's awful quality because it's not made to be used for more than a few parties. It's very cheap. No one was paid fair wages to produce this stuff. And just like we're not buying fast fashion, we're also not buying fast fashion when it's fun and trendy costumes. Instead, get your DIY on or use what you already have in your closet to dress up or hit the thrift store because there are, especially during this time of year, a million costumes in the thrift store that you can get instead. But I definitely recommend just using things you already have to create a costume. I feel like this is also a lot more fun and it makes for a lot funnier costume than simply just buying the same Sabrina Carpenter costume that everyone else is already wearing because they got it from the same place because it's mass produced. I feel like it's just funnier to make something that's unique. Anyway, if you have a costume from last year, why not wear that again? This is kind of in the same thread, but seasonal decor. I have had beef with seasonal decor throughout my entire life. I don't like the idea of buying new decor simply just to replace it when the weather changes. I don't like that. I don't like that a whole lot. I specifically hate Christmas decor. I don't think it's cute. I don't like when my home is seasonally decorated. I never liked it. Um, so this is also an incredibly free opinion, I might add, but that's okay. Um, this is most of all my opinion. It's often based on wanting to be low impact, wanting to be as environmentally friendly as possible, but mind you, this is still just my opinion. So if you have other priorities or if you really like dressing up or if you really like seasonal decor, this is not to say that there isn't a more sustainable way of doing it because there is, it's just this is what I'm not gonna buy and seasonal decor is one of them. I do however feel like it's a lot easier to say no to Christmas decor because I think it's so I feel like it's a lot harder with autumn themed decor, especially Halloween stuff, because it sort of awakens the inner emo kid in me. It it feels a lot more cozy and I really like that, but I still don't want to buy seasonal decor. I don't see the idea of buying something just to take it down or just to put it away a few months later. So if I'm buying a pumpkin vase, it's because I want to look at that pumpkin vase throughout the entire year. Otherwise, I'm not getting it. I think this might be my only Halloween, autumn, fall themed item. <laughs> Uh, and I use this all year round. It's just it's just with my regular cutlery. I use this basically every single day. It's a thrifted spoon and I think it originally came from a cereal packet. If products like this should exist, it should be with the purpose of enjoying them throughout the entire year. I feel like it's wasteful and without a purpose to buy something and then treat it as a disposable and then buy new seasonal decor next year. I'm not into that. I'm gonna be controversial now and I'm gonna anti-haul Ugg boots. Actually, this is not controversial. I have been anti-hauling this type of footwear forever. I have never owned a pair. I don't think they're cute, which is one of the main reasons why I haven't ever owned a pair. I didn't like them in 2008 and I don't like them in 2024. And the thing is, they're often really pushed as autumn wear, as something you buy for autumn. The amount of 
Instagram reels and TikTok videos I've seen about autumn must-haves that included Ugg boots is phenomenal. And the thing is, it's just a terrible shoe to wear during the wettest season. At least, hi, Scandinavia, Denmark, wearing Ugg boots feels like a very impractical decision. I have seen so many soaked Ugg boots. I am anti-hauling trendy and very hyped up footwear that is so incredibly impractical. Now another thing I'm gonna anti-haul, I'm gonna make enemies and it's okay because we're here to be controversial. That's not really why we're here, but alas. I'm anti-hauling sweatpants. I own one pair of sweatpants. They were a gift and I recognize that when I'm sick they're really nice to wear, but I don't wear sweatpants except for when I'm sick. I don't see the idea of owning several pairs of sweatpants. I especially don't see the idea of wearing them as an outfit. And that's just me and my personal take, but I see them in a lot of must-haves, autumn, fall, haul videos. People buying sweatpants, especially in untrend colors, and I don't really see the appeal. I would much rather put together an actual outfit, but that is, once again, it's me. And if you feel that way, and this, this is sort of the point of the video, if you feel the same way, you don't need to buy sweatpants because they are not a must-have. There are very few things indeed that are must-haves. I feel like that's what I want to get at in this video. You don't have to buy into the idea during the season where everyone talks about it. You really don't have to. And that's okay. If you wear sweatpants throughout the entire year, I don't see a problem with wearing sweatpants for autumn. But if you don't wear sweatpants throughout the entire year and you only wear them because you see them online, perhaps it's time to take a step back and just wear what you want instead of what influencers are telling you to. I recognize that I'm also an influencer and that's telling you what to do, but then again, I'm really not because what you wear is none of my business. It's just how we accumulate stuff that's my business or I've made it my business. Anyway, <laughs> I sort of already said this a little bit or sort of like hinted at it, but on trend colors for anything, for clothing, for accessories, decorations and cosmetics. This hand needs to slow the fuck down. Every season we see new on trend colors and I have a problem with this, especially when it comes to stuff like clothes and cosmetics. I don't think it's that unusual that you want to wear different colors for different seasons. They represent different moods and also your style might vary from season to season. I feel like that's completely okay, but especially with cosmetics, darker burgundy, darker plum or cherry colors, and if that is not your vibe throughout the majority of the year, it doesn't have to be your vibe for autumn. Also, I feel like this is common knowledge, but not every color cosmetics suit everyone. So when we push a certain color, we also push consumption that might not have been necessary. We end up encouraging or pushing a certain type of consumption for many people will end up as impulse buys and as such purchases that wasn't really necessary or purchases that turned out to be a downright fail. I have a lot of cosmetics that I've gotten from my friends because they bought something in a color that was on trend, but then it turned out to look hideous on them. This is their own words. It's not me walking around telling my friends that they look hideous so I can get their makeup, although that is a brilliant business model. This is just to say that I get why you want to be inspired by different colors for different seasons, but buying way too uncritically into untrend colors, I think is a mistake from a consumption point of view. We are anti-hauling specific colors for specific seasons, especially in cosmetics. Also, while we're at it, we're gonna anti-haul wearing specific styles for different seasons. If I had a scent for every time I heard a content creator say something in the lines of, this style of X, Y, and C is perfect for autumn. I feel like we should wear stuff that works throughout the entire year. I see a lot of, this bag is perfect for autumn, this jacket is perfect for autumn. And then it's a very specific type of style, often a very untrend silhouette or cut. It can also just be really classic pieces, but those you can wear throughout the whole year. If you have a really good coat, you can wear that coat for multiple months, year after year after year. But the thing is, I feel like sometimes we zoom in on such specific styles that they become trends or even micro trends, which means that we won't wear them in a year once the weather allows for this style to be worn again, because then it will feel too outdated if we shop with the fast fashion mentality and with the fast fashion mindset. I feel like there's a point to be made that certain types of outerwear can only be worn for specific months of the year, but then you have to buy something, in my opinion, that's good enough quality so you can wear it year after year after year, instead of only for one season before discarding it or donating it. And that goes for certain types of outerwear, it's more limited, but then there are stuff like bags. There's no such thing as a perfect autumn bag. I feel like that is gibberish. Did your life change so drastically with the season that you need a different type of bag for each season? I don't get it. Anyway, season-specific styles. No, we're gonna anti-hold that. 
I also need to talk about pumpkins because obviously we need to talk about pumpkins. I love pumpkin flavor, most things. I love pumpkin seeds, roasted pumpkin seeds. Oh my goodness, I love pumpkin in cake, in pies, in savory dishes, in soups. It's such a delicious ingredient. I'm anti-hauling the use of pumpkins that do not include consumption of said pumpkin. I don't like when we scoop out the inside of a pumpkin to make a jack-o'-lantern and then we just throw away the inside. Just, it's just, you can't, it's like, this is really good and you can, you can make a parade, you can, you can put it in a pie, just, just, please. Also, while we're at it, let's just anti-haul inedible pumpkins. There are some types of decorational pumpkins. I actually don't even know if that's just supermarket talk. You can get decorational pumpkins and I think that means that you can't eat them, that they're not edible. What is that? Why? No, absolutely not. At least compost your pumpkins. Let's stay a little bit with the decor because I have another thing I really want to talk about and it's fake spider webs. And this is not even just a this is my opinion, this is an actual call to action at this point. This is me budding in your business. Don't buy spider webs. Don't buy fake spider webs. Ever. We don't need it. Don't buy it. Don't hang it outside. If you buy it, contain it to the inside, but either way, don't buy fake spider webs. They are mostly produced of polyester, which means that they don't biodegrade. When we put them outside and they fly away or they get scattered everywhere, it's never gonna decompose. It's never gonna go away. And moreover, smaller animals and birds will choke on it. And that's kind of uncool. Don't buy that. So fake spider webs is an anti haul across the board. Same goes for fake snow in a few months. Don't buy it. Okay. And lastly, I have the same <laughs> issue with scented candles as I've had for years. This is once again, kind of a personal preference and there are also room for personal preferences. Once again, these can be consumed more sustainably and like with a lower impact. I just don't like them. So for me, it would be 100% super duper wasteful to buy them. And there are a few reasons as to why I don't like them. I don't like the synthetic perfumes. And when you light that material on fire, it makes for a really bad indoor environment. When you like any candle on fire, it makes for a really poor indoor environment. The air quality drops drastically. I don't like that particularly. I'm very concerned with the outdoor environment, but I'm also concerned with my indoor environment because that's where I spend a lot of my work day. So I am not into lighting candles. I used to be. I used to love candles, had one in every room of the house. Now I have a few that I light on very, very specific occasions. This is something that's especially so marketed to consumers during autumn time because we end up spending more time indoors. It's this whole idea of, and I've talked about this before, but the cozy vibe, the hookah. Having a blanket over your own cup of chocolate or tea and then lighting candles, playing some soft music. That whole vibe sounds amazing. But that has been sort of this nudge into over consuming stuff like candles. You can very easily have too many candles and I might be damaged a little bit in this regard because I grew up with YouTube. A beauty gurus and influencers easily bought and showed us like 20 different types of candles. If anyone else remembers that time of YouTube, please let me know because I feel like it's sort of manifested itself as a traumatic experience for me. Anyway, I'm anti-hauling candles and scented candles because they can so easily end up being overconsumed. Let me know down below if you agree with these, if you agree with some of them and if there are some of them where you're just like, what the fuck is she talking about? Anyway, as I said, this is obviously based on a personal opinion, which you know everyone has, but it's also based on the fact that, well, we need to be more critical when it comes to how we talk about consumption, how we talk about things that we buy. I feel like concepts like must-haves has worked our way into our understanding of new seasons, new opportunities to buy something, and we need to be more critical towards that. So that is what this video is meant to achieve. I hope you liked it. Let me know down below if there are anything you're gonna anti-haul this autumn and what they are. Thank you so much for watching. Anyway, Mo's and I are gonna go and make a cup of tea now. Have an amazing day and I will see you guys next time. Take really good care of yourselves. Until then, bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys helped me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye.